dude, this chick is retardedly hot. Oh, my God. <sighs> the things I would do to breathe the same air as you. Mm. Tight, too. Look at you. Is she? Good for you. Let yeah, tight. The girl, on the, the girl on the left. She's tight. She, she's actually, like, they're Instagram famous. I oh, actually, they're Instagram the, the famous? One on, the one on the left, I actually used to bartend for me. Is she and now the, she's is, some is TikTok her, famous chick. Is this her account? Yeah, well, that's not that. No, she's a good-looking girl, too, but not not what I like, not what I go after. Well, who, So she's tagged in it? Yeah, she's tagged in it. Oh, this one with the yeah, Z? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, God, her whole fucking thing is TikToks. Yep, I know. It uh, just makes her not hot, but she's hot. It makes my butt just super uncomfortable. Super. Tight. Yeah. Not tight. her. My butt. Well, both. Tight. <laughs> nah, I'm sure she's tight, too. Whoa. Hee <laughs> hee. Pause. Why, should, why pause? Do you know for a fact? No. You just assume? I mean, come on, look at her. You never know, man. <laughs> you never know. Hey, you don't ever know. Sometimes, man. Oh man. I gotta just see one TikTok and they all look horrible. I just got I gotta click I just gotta commit to one. To one TikTok? Just one. I just wanna see one. All right. Wow. I know. Exhilarating shit, right? Ooh. But you know what I would do if she was here? Oh, I love all of your fucking TikToks. They're great. I love them. They're the best thing ever. Oh. I can't go a day without also, seeing your TikToks. Also, you can't go a day without seeing this impressively average thing I got going on. Oh, so, what, what is that? Um, bank, account. <laughs> bank account. Anyway. <laughs> here we are, man. The fucking sausage Whee! stand is back open. Fresh brajo. Brought to you hot and fresh. Hot and fresh. Hot and fresh. Not right now. It's soggy from the rain. Yeah, it's soggy. My hair's all fucked up. My fucking camel colored um, quarter zip is Check yourself out. Drenched. Check yourself out in the camera, man. Yeah, Let them like know. I haven't done this before. Let them know. Let them know. It's fucking raining out. I, it's, it's a shitty what night. I, I look like Except shit. Except what? for this right here. Except for this right here. This reunion. This is reunion. The people episode. wanted it. Oh, my the God. The people spoke. They didn't never shut the fuck up. Well, <laughs> they never shut the fuck Listen, up. Listen, man. I know. because we Phenomenal were, individuals. I, I, you Great show. It. A lot of fun. Can't help it. All right. There's one thing I want to do before I will tell everybody why okay. I decided okay. that Brajol Brothers wasn't for me. Okay. But before I get to that. So is Rizology for you? Rizology is for me. Rizology is for the people. It's a little bit more tailored it for is. me. It's easy. All right. But I was, there's only one thing I want to do before we get into that. What? I was gonna play. I, Tar- I was gonna play Tarantella. Don't play. T- <laughs> <laughs> we can get to that because we're gonna have to bring up the mood after this. I do want to bring up one thing. A lot of your guests so far have brought up stories about George. I wanted to tell everybody my story about George and George pay P. condolences. George P. Let's go. So, I had been a huge bodybuilding fan for a while. He's a local guy. I, for some something, something about him, like his smile, his something, his physique. I loved. I never met him before. I was fresh in the game with this shit, and uh, I had noticed one time in his Instagram stories he must have worked at Cablevision, and my cousin worked at Cablevision. It was around my birthday, and I think I might have told you this story. I think yep, I did. You did. But it's fantastic. This is this just goes to show George's character. I texted my cousin once. I was like, "Yo, you work with this big motherfucker at Cablevision." <laughs> he goes. He goes, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I would imagine so, because he's probably the only big motherfucker that works at Cablevision. What other big motherfucker? The Kevin Hart joke to the T. <laughs> yeah. Hey, boss, I just broke another one. Yeah. So my birthday, I think this is like 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. I was still in college. I'd have been 2015, 2016. So my cousin Anthony, he goes up to George and goes, my, my cousin's a huge fan. It's his birthday. I'm about to actually call him for his birthday. Would you mind? And he said, tells me this afterwards. He's like, no, I wouldn't mind, of course. So he pulls up the FaceTime, and I'm in the car. I'm driving home. I'll never forget. I was right next to the North Lindenhurst Fire Department. He goes, yo, Tyler. I'm like, what's up, man? He goes, yo, happy birthday. I know I told you earlier. He's like, but someone, you know, I'm, I'm with somebody who wanted to tell you, and I didn't realize where he was at. I had no fucking clue he was at work. So he turns the FaceTime camera around to face the front-facing camera. And it's just big fucking wide shoulders 
and, and in this hoodie with a hoodie up. And so I couldn't really tell who it was. I'm like, who the fuck is this? He slowly turns around and reveals the hoodie. Like, hold on, I'm gonna look at the camera. He go, go, goes like this. Hey. And then it's just <laughs> George P. Yo, man, what's up, Tyler? Heard it's your birthday, bro. Wanted to say happy birthday. Anthony, let me know that you watch, you know, some of my my, my competitions and you're a fan. I was fu- I was like, yo, the bull. What? Crazy. I was going nuts. I'm like, I'm a huge bodybuilding fan at this point. He had no fucking clue who I was. From a hole in the wall. He didn't, no, he no didn't know my cousin. He fucking works 10 cubicles down from him. But that's the kind of guy he was. He realized who supported him, even though he never, I hadn't even been to Bev's at this point. I never even went on a day pass. But he knew I was a fan. My cousin approached him, and he said happy birthday. And I will never fucking forget that, because there's a common theme of who people you've had on, not having a negative, or knowing even Nobody. no one having a negative not a connotation. single negative nothing. thing. George, I, George, rest in peace, bro. You were... I mean, obviously, this is a memory from fucking years ago. What are your memories of him recently? What did you used to do every time you see him? <laughs> Go ahead. Well, there, unfortunately, now there's an unopened DM in George's inbox of him with two fucking thick Latinas pushing plates on a fucking leg press. I'm like, damn, George, you gonna hold all that? <laughs> not shit, not with me? No pieces for me? No, not for me? <laughs> That motherfucker had some pieces around him. He wasn't trying to share. I don't blame him. Look at him. I don't him. blame him either. Nah. Nah, guy that wide, but you got to have the pieces with you. He was always down for the jokes, too, man. He was a good fucking dude. Huge, I, I, huge I, I, heart, amazing individual. It's, uh, it's a true loss. Yeah. Every time you see him, what did you do? Ah, uh, you know, I'm getting yeah. ready for the Olympia. Yeah, you I, would go to George, I used to go to George and be like, I don't know, man, that Cat of Corey 5 that you be hitting looks better on my shit. Not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> he used to hit the back double by with yeah. the Category 5 up. Nah, yeah, George, that's mine. No, but uh, rest in peace to George the Bull, man. George the Bull Peterson, rest in peace. For real, man. Huge loss. Um, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't, I'm sorry, I could not no, get you have into to. funny shit without talking about George. You have to, got man. any further. You have to, dude. He's he's a huge yeah. staple to the community, especially up here, yeah. and just, just an amazing good. individual. And, uh, you know, I was even talking to, I was talking about it with Kai when I was away on my trip. Yeah. And uh, Kai was super speechless about it. Yeah. He just... You know, him and George were pretty friendly, pretty, and yeah, they were pretty especially because cool, right, they were though. both Redcon. I believe they trained yep. a couple times down that down yep. south together because yep. Kai's living down there now. Yeah, and it was just um, it was just a crazy experience, yeah. like for everybody, just shocking, really, sh- truly shocking. It really is, man. And uh, you know, he couldn't have left behind a better legacy for himself. At least I don't think. I mean. I, well accomplished in his profession, and well accomplished, and w- well spoken about, and you know. I got. I, I actually I got the card. I actually yeah. got the card today from the from the funeral. Okay. For signing the book. Yeah. yeah. I wish. I, I mean, I wish I could have went. I mean, but I mean, I, I honestly didn't even know when it was, and mm-hmm. I wasn't gonna be. The, I don't know. I didn't want to be the person just fishing around and asking for you know whatever. But here's my condolences for George. Yeah, and for real. Goes out I got to, send, to his I got family send. who I who you've told me nothing but amazing. Oh my god! Yeah, mom great was the people. sweetest thing. I, yeah. I, I gotta <laughs> I gotta send mom now that I'm back home. I gotta send mom all of his photos. Yeah. I told her I said I got a ton of videos. If you want any of the videos, they're Absolutely. all yours. Please, Absolutely. you know, because listen, it's the only way God forbid, like if I was an athlete like that and I passed away. You know that my mom would want all my videos and photos. Karen wants them from me. I know. Uh, while you're for the birthday, golfing. yeah, for the birthday. <laughs> so, so yeah. Oh, all right. So you know what? That's a good segue into. And, and I'm sorry if you see me raising myself. I don't know why this. He thing raised is so himself feet, up. Now I gotta fix the. You got. You do gotta fix it. My feet aren't touching the ground. My feet don't touch the ground now. I'm sorry, Tyler. Coming in here just. <laughs> in the middle of yeah. my Podcast. I know. Get up I and know. fix shit. So that's a good segue, though. Um, so. After Brajol ended, Nick has taught me how to be one petty motherfucker. I'm just smiling at the camera for those. We that are just would listening. not be talking today if it wasn't for this motherfucker's birthday, and I had to break because I wasn't <laughs> not going to show up for his fucking birthday. I actually, uh, even before you know, so, and I'll get into it. But even before the whole Brajol ending, I was planning on throwing Nick a surprise birthday party. And all of his other friends like, fucking Nick hates that shit. Don't fucking do it. He don't want to celebrate his Surprise birthday. birthdays. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they make you nervous, right? Like, it's not just that they make me nervous. They make me, um, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to search for the words. Yeah. They make me a happy uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Because I appreciate the weird. fuck out it's of like, everybody. But shit. like, now you, have, you are tasked now. <laughs> yeah. You are tasked at this surprise a, party. And I'll tell you. To hit 
every group of friends. So I, we really even couldn't. And, I, and there was a lot of people that I wanted to invite that didn't. And I, I was taxed with re, redoing, refixing, re this, re that, family, friends, who's this, who's that, whatever. So whatever it was, we had a good time. Um, there was a lot of people I wish I could have included more of, and it just, and ended up not working out. It was awesome. I had a great time. We all had a good time. I so I knew I knew that there was a surprise. Oh yeah, you knew there was a surprise. I was when... literally in the bathroom. I was like putting a hat. I was like brushing my teeth, putting my hat on. Yeah. And I looked. At, I looked at my mom. My mom goes, "All right, Mike's gonna pick you up and drive you out there." And I go to her. Is that and I, a dead giveaway. I just look, I just look at her and I go, "Why would Mike bring me out there if it's like me and you and Grandma going? Why wouldn't we leave together?" She's like, "Oh, I gotta take care of some stuff before that." I'm like. You sure there's not gonna be people that are just jumping there. out to s- surprise me? She goes, she was like, it's literally like this. She goes, no. <laughs> I go, Karen can't hold the fucking secret. <laughs> no, it's horrible. No, you can't so, rob a bank with her. She also told me she's like, yeah. Well, when we got, when I got there, she's like, yeah. Well, a couple people haven't said happy birthday, and I'm kind of shocked. And I go, yeah, because I was holding out as long as I fucking could on this petty train, baby. I was riding that motherfucker mm-hmm. until the crash. Course. I taught you well. I, I know some depth. I taught you so, well. And how long? How long were we like tied? Two years? Oh yeah, we two had, years yeah, nonstop, nonstop every single nonstop. day. And then I, we, I taught you a lot. And then like boom, like that. Yeah. So what happened? I felt uncomfortable. Okay. And I felt uncomfortable talking about my stories and just a lot of different things that happened. Um, and and, and I've gotten myself now into this space where. I'm going to sound a little egotistical, and I'm really trying to check my fucking ego here. I'm entering a space where I'm becoming successful. Uh, I'm entering a space where my public image is definitely going to be uh, something I have to maintain and be a little mindful of. All right. Um, I've done a lot of building over the last few months, more than I've done in the past few years. I've gotten myself into a new profession where I deal with multi-billion dollar clients. I've gotten myself into a space where I'm doing so well for myself at this point in time, and I'm fucking thankful, and I'm thanking God I'm knocking on wood, and I'm counting my blessings. I'm praying to God every day, and I thank him for it. Um, with that said, I, uh, we had recorded an episode, and I spoke about some shit, and it was up for 16 people to see. I spoke with 15 of them. I don't know who that 16th person is. But they know my story. I spoke with them. They all kind of had like, hey, like that was a little much when I asked them about it. And you know who you are. You've heard the story. You heard the story. It's mainly our main group of people. But it's, it's not anything So for the masses. It's not anything that like I would go to jail for. It's not anything that I would like not tell over a couple beers with somebody else. I need to kind of just be careful with what I say. And, and that's become a part of my growing and part of what I'm doing. And there's a lot that I'm doing right now. I'm working 100 and fucking 10 to 115 hours a week right now. I got two things going on. I got the stuff going on with my, my new main job. I'm placing accounting and finance people. And I have new stuff going on with Mike Marrow in, in, in these pop-up restaurants that we're going to be taking to the next level. Um, bar crawl on Halloween. If you didn't buy your tickets, buy your fucking tickets. This Sunday. What are you going to do? Um, I'll be at Nunzies. Yeah, no, I saw. The nun- yeah, d- congrats to Mike. He's doing a good job over there. Yeah, um, yeah so that's that's essentially where Brajol stopped. Um, I don't blame Nick for anything. He was doing a lot of the fucking work. He was doing a lot of the shit behind the scenes. I was doing a lot of the social media the and the marketing of it and kind of trying to get more reach on things and coming up with the times and when to post and how to post and all that. Um, but he was providing a lot of the material for it, and I, honestly, I fell short. I, I fell short of my expectation, and I fell short on on what I thought I was going to be comfortable with, and here we are. Now, I'm obviously still fucking hysterical, otherwise Nick wouldn't have brought <laughs> me on. <laughs> oh. What do you want to do? Oh, um, God. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I mean, and on top of that, I do have a lot going on. I mean, around this time, I wouldn't have been able to record anyway. This is my only day off. And I, I was worked, supposed to be in LA still. And I worked for 11 hours. I was today. supposed to be in LA still, so yeah. we wouldn't we wouldn't, yeah. even we wouldn't have been able, able to do this, this if I was still out there. So there was a lot of there was a lot of things personally going on, um, I, and, and then professionally. Uh, but here we are. I hopefully will be a revolving guest here mm-hmm. because my network of people has been pissed, <laughs> pissed with me, and rightfully so. I, I, I'm an entertainer. I'm a people person. I like doing shit like this. It's fun. It is. It's, it's, a, it's a good great time. time. It's not a chore. It's, a, it's never a chore. It's not a chore. 
And here's the best part. Now that I'm, I mean, not for any other reason other than the fact that we're both so fucking busy, I'm not talking to Nick as much as I used to. No. And I have so much shit to tell you about, no. bro. No, you're not. And I, and I think now's a good time to talk to you about one of the things I didn't tell you about. Go on. I'm going to Miami. When? First week of December. Sick invite. I am hitting strictly Dominican spots. Wow. I'm going down. I'm seeing my boy Dariel down there, and I'm hitting strictly Dominican spots. All right, so you've mapped this out already. He's mapping it out. He's so good at planning and organizing. I don't have to do a thing. I just got to book a flight. By the way, gas is cheaper to get you to fucking Miami and back than it is to get from Seaford to Uniondale. <laughs> it is. What the fuck? Dude. Yo, I'm paying $4 a gallon right now. Okay, count, this is crazy. count your fucking Bro, blessings. October 26th. Count your blessings. Yeah, it's going to go up. Not even that. L.A. was... Oh, oh. oh dude, $9 a gallon or something like I that. I didn't see there. that. Or, if I saw uh, that, I would say... $7 or something like that? It was, it was, like, it? It was like in the sixes, That's five crazy. sixes. Yeah, it was wild. I couldn't believe that shit. When I went out there and I was looking at the gas pumps, and oh, everybody, everybody that's used to... That's like, you know, bitching about that. I'm like, yeah. wow, we don't have that yet. Oh, my God. That's going to be horrific. I'm paying four a gallon. Bro, the prices of, of everything it has to go up. I don't think... What's I, up with how, how could anybody just sit there as a business owner and be like, oh, yeah, well, it used to cost me $15 to go to a shoot. And I'm glad you and said now it, now, it, now it cost me 30 to go to a shoot. It's like worth 40 It's yeah. like, dude, I, I'm filling up all the time. You got to mark your shit up a little bit, just like everybody else does. There was a picture on, on Instagram of, like, some wing spot that said that we have, um, regrettably, we have to raise our prices because a box of chicken wings went from like, I don't, I'm just gonna make it up, like $5, and now it's 10 have you it's Have you noticed the price of sushi? The price of sushi went up. But here's the other thing, I'm in the restaurant business now. I mean, I've always been in the restaurant business, like here and there. But you're balancing it again. But I'm back in. We had to raise the prices on a lot of shit. Bro, we're going through an alcohol shortage. Oh, alcohol shortage too, Alcohol huh? shortage for the... So this is this is the new thing. So this was on the news, and I took a picture of this today, but it was on the news before this. So Fox News today, um, and I don't have the picture why. Here it is. <clears throat> Fox News today, supply chain issues have created an alcohol shortage as holidays approach. I am also going to be doing the Christmas Club with Mike. Yes. I told Mike, we need to have our fucking mixologist on top of this because... We are going to have run into an issue with, with, with alcohol. Just having this actual supply. Forget about raising the prices on it. Forget about even just having it. The amount of times we run out of shit and we have to go to the store and like pick up more just on a whim and hopefully it's there has been insane. Have you seen that the price at the store are more expensive too? Absolutely. Really? We have to raise prices on food. On all of our dishes, we had to go up to $3. And it's not because we want to. We don't want to. Listen, people are, who are joining us for dinner are already paying a reservation fee. Now, that reservation fee gets them a whole experience, so don't get me wrong, but we don't want to have to charge more for things that we don't want to have to charge more for things for. Yeah, of course not. You know, nobody ever wants to charge more, but we're going through some crazy shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> but wild. That, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going down to Miami. I'm coming back. It's 160 bucks. Are you driving? No. Oh. On a plane yeah. with jet fuel. It's $160. Yeah. Why is that so cheap? <laughs> Different subsidies. And I'm paying with Amex points. Oh, no, you're the, not. Yo, the, yo, the you're not paying, got, yo, you're not paying yo, with Amex. The kids got fucking like 200,000 Amex. How long are you going down there for? I'm going for an extended weekend. I'm going to a th from a Thursday to a Monday. I might catch a, a, a $20 Giants game while I'm down there, too. They're playing Miami. Oh, really? Yeah, you see Daniel Jones' catch, by the way? No. He fucking laid out. Fucking one-hand grab Odell Beckham style. <laughs> Whoa! That's man aggressive, bro. Man aggressive. You know, just still I dealing just, with this shit in this what's office up too. With that? I don't know. I, I, I'll tell you what. I'm I'm surprised I came in here today yeah. and the the ceiling tiles weren't falling around me like Dude. I had like like some type of a, a a sunken treasure chest that I'm I'm invading the tomb. Yeah. As of October 26, by the way, as it's recording, it's fucking raining buckets outside. Buckets. And it's I crazy. To, I like my drain in front of my apartment. I have to like scoop fucking water out constantly. It's insane. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what, what are we doing here? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm very thankful it's that nuts. that held up. And for those that don't know, I've had leaks in my office, and it is yeah. terrifying because whenever there's inclement weather outside, I get nervous that I'm gonna come in here and 100%. all my shit's gonna be underwater because it happened once before. And you got a ton of shit in here, all over this desk. Yeah, ton I of shit. I wasn't very happy about that. I wouldn't be either. Um, Nobody wants to deal with that shit. I'm jealous of that Miami trip. I want to go somewhere else. Yeah. I was supposed I, to go to was, Dubai this week. I know. I heard about that. Uh. My Miami thing was on a whim. Like, we were we were jokingly talking about it, and then my buddy Sal, who was the one kid I'm going down there with from mm -hmm. New York, he's like, yo, do you actually want to fucking do it? I'm like, 
if I can get off, I'm in. I got fucking ton of shit in the pipeline right now. So you're now. going in December? Yeah, December 2nd to the 6th. So if you see me in Miami, don't ask questions. Don't ask your question. And don't take your phone out. And no offense, but I'm probably only speaking with Dominican women. Are you spending it all again? Uh, Whoa. Are you? Whoa. Are you spending it all? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Is he spending it all? And there's not much. So <laughs> it's not don't, much. Don't so get it twisted. Maybe 120. Dude. <laughs> for the flight back. 120 Amex points? <laughs> I'm only spending Amex points. I'm not freaking out my wallet. <laughs> can, can you imagine you go, you go to take a check out. She's like, yeah. she's like, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Ah, well, you know. This restaurant takes the Amex points. Yeah, That's the only you know place crazy? I go. I get five times points if we go to fucking Poppy Steak. <laughs> <laughs> David Einhorn is going to save me a table. What is it? Um, Joe's Stone Crabs? <laughs> Joe's Stone Crabs. Yeah. I can't have Stone Crabs. I'm allergic. Well, you can have the chicken. She'll, she'll get the crabs. Yeah, she'll get the crabs. By the way, you like that that I told the kid in your office? Put peanuts on your desk? Oh, Vic. Yeah. yeah. He's a good dude, man. Yeah, I like He's him. a good fucking dude. I like him. He comes in, he ratted you the fuck out. Ratted like, me out. Ratted you the fuck out. Damn, he needs good. a spot at the gym. I know who I'm not spotting. Well, that's my boy. That's loyalty. He, he works for us now. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. I, I can't do it, man. Dude. You going to ask me about how my trip to L.A. was? You gonna I am going to ask you how the trip to L.A. was. You just brought some other shit up. I'm how waiting. was the trip to L.A., you nah, fucking like selfish it. bastard? Nah, I don't hanging, like about you're hanging out with fucking hot WWE chicks. I know how the fuck that went. She's, it was fantastic. She is. Oh, man. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? For the people at home, Nick hung out with fucking hotness all fucking week. It was Eve Marie. Like, it was Eve Marie. Yeah, was, her boyfriend's the shit. Up. Bite your tongue. Her boyfriend's the shit. Okay, boyfriend, you fucking landed a good one. What the hell you want me to say? <laughs> Sorry. This is me. Yo, <laughs> she, it I, was... No, seriously, she looks dope. She was actually she fucking dope. awesome. Yeah, she like, looks dope. everybody was there. I, yeah. Everybody was awesome there. So, um, you know how many DMs I got from, like, no, wearing no mask in the airport? Oh, people were asking you why you weren't wearing a mask. Happy. Cheering for me. Oh, cheering for me. Cheering for me. People were like, no, I didn't get any feedback, any, like, bad feedback. Bro, I I literally walked into the terminal, and I dipped it directly under my Mm -hmm. chin instantly when I got there. Did my baggage check. Yeah. I did all my shit. Went to TSA pre-check. Yeah. No issues. Because it said Puya. Yeah, this cause time. Because it, it said Puya on the, on, the, on the reservation. Okay. And then. Our, our loyal listeners know that story. Yeah. And then um, I get through and I I had my mask off. I just. Because yeah. once they told me, can you just pull it down like all the way? Because mm-hmm. I had it like right here. Mm-hmm. I'd say, go, can you just pull it down all the way so we could check out, you know. You How know. great that beard looks? Well, that too. It yeah, looks good, right? It looks good, man. It's looking good now. It does. You, you've, you've had grown. a 19-year-old Spanish Th- kid in, in L.A. 30s doing you well with the beard. <laughs> right? Yes. Son. Turn 30 and all of a sudden the patchiness. Get some on that. <laughs> Come on. It's fire. I told Barra I'm going to start transplanting my, my uh, oh, black Barra. hairs to the gray beard. <laughs> fuck Barra and fuck Gabe. Yeah, fuck, him, fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. How about that? So, so who's, the, who's the coolest person you met over there? Hold on. I'll tell you. Oh, you got another one for me? Well, I'm just saying. I'm I'm giving you the details, man. I need it. I have fucking details. I'm getting anxious. I need to hear it all. Well, let's get it in. Ah. So, so, (laughs) (laughs) so, so I get through, and I'm at the I'm at the uh, TSA line. I'm I'm getting ready to put my shit through the uh, scanner, and the guy goes, "Hey, man," he's like, "When you go past me, he's like, just 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 pull that thing up, pull the mask up." I go, "Okay, pull it up." Right when I got past him, I rip it off. I go, "All right, boys, see you later, bro." Nobody in JFK. Constant announcements. If you're found without your mask, it's federal law. If you're found without your mask, you will be removed from the airport and a fifty dollar fine. I'm like, damn, I got it like that. Yeah, fifty live, bucks ain't nothing. I'll I'll spend that for the for the principle of it. Because we live in dictatorship Korea. We yeah, we live in North Korea, evidently. So then I got onto the plane and I told him, I said, I don't have a mask because the strap actually did break. So I was yeah. like, okay. They go, yep, here you go, no problem. Under my nose the entire flight. Get out immediately when I get to LAX. Rip, rip that shit off, bro. I am not wearing a mask in a terminal for three hours before my flight. I got there super early. And you early. have antibodies. And I have antibodies. I'm not sitting there and wearing it, and then I got to wear it for a six-hour flight Ugh. to L.A. I'm not doing it. Like, you can fuck off. Yeah. So I get to L.A., and uh, I'm looking around, and I see everybody that has signs up. You know where they, like, the Oh, people. and they're picking you up? So <laughs> Kai isn't there yet, so I, <laughs> I write on my phone with, with my Kai. finger, <laughs> Mr. Getting It Done. <laughs> And when he turned the corner, I held it up. He was dying. <laughs> so we were talking. Yo, he's such a ball of energy, bro. He is oh great, man. He is so fucking awesome. So we're just talking, shooting the shit. He actually fell backwards into the um, into the uh, luggage carousel, oh, God the one that did. wasn't on. Was he like a turtle on his shell? No, he got right up, but all you heard was boom. <laughs> Everybody whole... in LAX turned around. Everyone, what you, the everyone got whiplash at the same yeah. time. It was, just, and he's laughing. He's like, <laughs> I, I, I helped him up. <laughs> So we get out, dude. Immediately when we get in the car, all the 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 rain corporate uh, guy had uh, 
fresh food for us. Yeah, a bunch of shit, right? Bro, they got this thing called, oh my God, what is it called? Mm. I can't just type in some Japanese name on some <laughs> Japanese restaurant on yeah. Google. It's just not going to work. Yeah. Um, I'm like a flag for that. They might come and just break this door down and right, go, yeah. you racist piece of shit. I'll be like, I, I got a Japanese dog. I'm not racist. I'm just, I just don't know what I'm it's looking, called. And I'm going to get a samurai on my arm. I just don't know what it's called. From the homie Poe. I know, I know. I got to hit him up. I almost have enough scottles. <laughs> Um, it was called Japanese. It was like a, it was like a Japanese fast food Chipotle style restaurant. Oh, but like, like oh, kimchi chicken shit, bro. Just like fresh, oh. fresh white rice, fresh seasoned vegetables, fresh Damn. chicken with the skin on it, like super seasoned. Damn. So we get there, we're, we're scarfing it down. The hotel was an hour away. Oh. Yeah. So like after yeah. sitting on a plane for six hours, yeah, five hours, five and a half, six hours, then having to drive all the way there. So I was like, oh man, that sucks. But we get there. Beautiful room, full kitchen, living room, bed. I was like, oh, this is fat. So set up my little editing area. I, 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 I just chill out for a few, and I pass out. Next morning, I wake up. I go to the gas station, grab some shit, and then like it started the first day. It was photo shoots all day. All on board, right? So the first dude that came down was uh, Teo. Oh, yeah, the boxer. Light heavyweight champ. Yeah, boxer. Cool as fuck. Yeah, he his, seems like a cool dude. His dad's a gangster. He's got a ton of energy, that kid. His dad's a gangster. Is he? Oh, my God. So dope. Old, dude, like quiet, old school, old dude, school right? Spanish dude. You just tell, he's like, he's a boxing coach. You just tell, like, the vibes about him. Phenomenal. Yeah. Um, then we met uh, one of the dudes who trains a lot of the celebrities. Okay. His name's Corey. He trains, like, the Kardashians and shit oh, like wow. that. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, like, big time. Yeah, he's, he's, big, super, he's big money. Super chill dude. Nice. And nice. Then the, and then we, 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 that was our group. So we drive to the uh, so shoot. you, Kai, Teo, and then the yeah. dude, Corey. So then we go to the shoot. We're all hanging out, whatever. And then right we get there, who are there? The buttery bros. Oh, God. They're Rizzles! They go, Nikki Rizzles! And they're dapping me up and shit. You know, That's crazy. They're fucking great. Yeah, they, they seem like fucking uh, they're off bowls, the wall. They're bowls of energy, too. Yeah. They're phenomenal. Uh, I mean, but that's that that fits the brand. But go ahead, keep going. Exactly. They're just they're CrossFitters. Yeah. They're always high energy, shit like that. Yeah. And then their boy Jules was there, okay. who is the dude that does all the graphics on their videos. I was gonna say he does all their their Sh editing shit. Well, they do the editing. Oh, they do the editing. And then they send it off to him to do some of the graphics. Oh shit. So he does like all the intros and stuff like that. Oh dope, bro. Money, right? What a fucking talented dude. Money. Super cool too. Very wow. nice. And then the rest of the Rain team was there. Everybody from Rain is spot on. Yeah, you want a drink, you want apparel, you want whatever you want. They're just like, they what, can we, what yeah. can we help you with? Yeah. What do we, what, what, what do we have to do to make you happy? <sighs> um, I, just keying in there, that is so fucking important when you're running a brand like that. Facts. If, when you're when you're in the public eye, you actually want the people who are putting your product out to actually feel that love. Yeah, and. It doesn't probably end there. Yeah, and I don't listen. Okay. I don't. I don't tag a lot of the, like. I'll tag some of the rain guys every now and then. I just because yeah. God forbid, like people see them tag, they start snooping, and then they just yeah, start blowing you don't them up. Do that. I don't want to do that. So that's why I won't use their names. But if they listen good to this, dudes. they know who they are. Good guys, Everybody, good girls, right? I couldn't. I couldn't say enough nice things. That's so awesome. And the cool thing was they had this dope food truck oh. outside. Every shoot, they they basically hired him to go to every shoot for the three days. All like healthy shit or like everything though. Oh nice. So um, it was called Chop House. Sounds fucking good. So the first day we were there. By the way, you're talking a lot of food shit to me right I'm now. So hungry. Roslyn Social's getting a call from me after this. We have to place an order. I, I, I Want to get a burger? To, I, I might just go down there and go see him. Fuck it. Okay. Done. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with the dog, but we'll figure it out. Bring him inside. Fuck it. Yeah, they don't give a shit. <laughs> Nick, doesn't, Nick doesn't give a shit. Nick doesn't care. No. <laughs> go ahead. So um, there was steak with white rice, oh. like fresh steak. I said rare. It came out blood and perfect. Bloody. Rare. Then they had uh, teriyaki glazed salmon, mm. stuff like that, right over white rice, whatever. Perfect. The next day, and I'm going to go back to day one, but the next day, that same food truck had poke bowls. Oh, that's right up your Fresh family. poke bowls. Se chicken Caesar wraps he was making. Oh, love that. And then we went to his restaurant that night for dinner. Bro. Oh, buddy's got a restaurant too? Spread. T-bones, appetizers, whatever the T-bone steaks. Then it was the, the main course was steak with lobster fillets and oh. shit like that. I got to show you the picture. That's fucking money. Yeah, dude, it was it was wild. Uh, he followed me. Super fucking nice guy. The cook? Yeah, the the nice. head, the guy who owns the restaurant. Chef, right, chef. Oh Jesus! That's Christ. a spread. Damn. Yeah. That is that, and that's a no joke looking. Man. God, why is Kai that's, so big? <laughs> the ribeye. God, he is a ribeye. <laughs> his, his his left bicep is bigger than that fucking steak. And that steak is huge. That's a big ass fucking plate. Yeah. Damn. They did not skip you. No. The and then before that, we had poke wonton chips. We had all, all God, T bones, uh, um, not T bones, um, tomahawk steaks all the way down. 
It was crazy. Oh. It was crazy. So so talk to me. Who was your favorite on the team? I know obviously. I, I gotta be. I gotta be real with you, man. Kai is always phenomenal. I, yeah, I, every, Kai is, yeah. Other every, than Kai, every time I'm with there, and listen, He's I thanked him and I thanked so his manager. Positive. I said, "Yo, I appreciate you guys bringing me out here. Right. Like, I know some guys wouldn't thank you for the opportunity. I just love being around you guys. You're phenomenal. The energy is amazing. I love the vibes that we have and this and that. I said yeah. it's just great." Um, Thor, I didn't get to interact with too much. We at the restaurant we did. I don't know if I told you that. At the mm. restaurant we did talk for a little bit. Oh, he nice. just had his baby and he just walked just the walking baby around him, him, just keeping him calm. He's fucking huge. And then he went. That out, baby's fucking big too, dude. The baby was rolling around the the mm. medicine balls. It's yeah. a one year old baby. Yeah, one year old. He's fucking. Barra thinks he had a big baby. <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck Barra. That's a big fucking baby. Sweetest Stormer. Is the baby's name? Of course it is. Yeah. Just some gangster shit. How gangster is that? Yeah, How gangster is that? Um, his videographer was this dude from uh, Canada. Super talented. Really nice dude. We got we became very friendly. Uh, Martin Lisi's was dope. Mm, well Martins. Yeah, Martins. He was fucking gangster. Uh, Natalie, uh, Natalie and her boyfriend were phenomenal. Mm. I love them. Teo was great. Corey was super cool. He actually left early because he had to go... Um, Start helping out on a movie set first, training some people. Sure. Really cool. It's awesome. Um, I'll tell you who I, you, you already know who I got along with. Great. I got, oh, yeah, I got go along ahead. with Juji, man. Yeah. I Ju told you he was a good fucking dude. Juji, I, I met, so him, I met him, I met him once before with Kai at the yeah. Arnold a couple years back. Super nice guy. Yeah. We, we, we vibed, like, you know, whatever, but we didn't get to spend a lot of time together. So then after the, after the second day shoot, when we did, everyone did the tough mutter. Yeah. So everyone was rolling around in the dirt yeah, just and running through everything. Oh, shit. That was great. I, so I lost my shoe. Yeah, I know. I saw you running around with no shoes. Lost my shoe in the mud. Which shoe you lose? Uh, the black. Um, oh, the Adidas. Adidas. Bro, I was trying to get an angle on Kai. He jumped into the mud. I said, oh, I got this. Super tight land. I'm using the 85. It's buttery looking great. All of a sudden, they start moving, and I can't get him anymore. I go, yo, I got I to gotta run around the trench and get to the other side. I take a couple steps, and all of a sudden, I feel the ground start, start slipping Shifting, underneath yeah. me, and I'm like, oh, God. So I'm like, we got to go quick. Bro, next step I took, Shoot, it's as walk. if the mud just engulfed my whole entire foot. That's the noise it made. That's exactly what it was. Bro, you hear me in the video clip, because my camera was rolling. I went, oh, shoe just completely in the mud. <laughs> and then the other one, I couldn't move it. And my foot's out, and I couldn't slip my foot back in, so I literally just grabbed it, threw it to the side, took my other shoe off, Anything threw for it to the, the side, shot. and that was it. Anything for the shot, we got That's it. That's a stutter. And then I kept it off the rest of the day, because I wasn't going to put, put that shit back on my feet. No, you can't. So, um, yeah, that Tough Mudder shit was gangster, and then they, 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 uh, they, they, uh, they went up the wall, that like vertical pyramid. Yeah. They all climbed it. Kai did, too. Kai was yo, in there. Yeah. In there. He well, was phenomenal. Yeah. That's, that's my fucking man. Yo, he's he great. Be in he's there. great, man. Awesome. He, was, he was awesome. So, Any but, pieces down there? Uh, like, yeah, there know, were a couple. You, on the rain team, there were a couple pieces that on yeah. the day of the of Tough Mudder, like the actual event. Yeah, they had the the rain girls that were like giving oh, out the drinks, like pieces. Yeah, they were great. It was like the Red Bull girls that would hunch down and try to throw the fucking yeah, drinks at the you. Mini Cooper. Yeah, the Mini yeah. Cooper. But instead, they just bash the thing against your door panel, and you have a dent you got to fix. Yeah, like, but you're like, like, oh, you're hot, so it's okay. It's like the Twisted Tea guy from that one video, just smacking you in the face with rain <laughs> instead of a Twisted Tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man. I mean, it was dope, but Juji. He went. He wanted to go to the gym after the Tough Mudder thing. He's like, yeah. I gotta get my training in. And I said, I'm fat. I gotta go anyway. So one of the guys that's from Rain, who was driving us around the entire couple of days, yeah, yeah, he literally goes, I'll drive you guys to the gym, the same gym that we did the photo shoot at. First off, that gym, absolutely fire. Mm. Sixth Sense, shout out to Sixth Sense Gym, um, Rancho Cucamonga. I, I forget the actual location of it. I kind of want to shout them out the right way. Yeah, you should. Yeah, just that's in case anybody's ever in the area. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Six Ew. cents, Jim. I just got a nasty email. Ontario. Oh, I guess that. it was Ontario, huh? That's weird. Oh, yeah, it is. Right by the Toyota Arena. Mm. Sixth, sixth cents, Jim, Ontario, California. It's up by the, um, it's up by San Bernardino area. Yeah, but six yo, cents, send the check. Yo, they were phenomenal. One of the guys, he's send following the gear. The, one of the guys following the I podcast. Want a hoodie. You want a hoodie? Yeah. I don't think they had it. Send them. I wanted to support them. I wanted to buy some apparel. They didn't have any. Yeah, fuck that. Send it. Just send it anyway. Make it for us. Come on. Make it for the uh, Rizal Bra Brajolatin. <laughs> fucking whatever it's called. I don't fucking know. What the fuck did you just say? It was part cookie, too. Yeah, I know. Part cookie. Um, oh, that no longer was actually called our fucking Brajapolitan after you sold she's it making a, She's making a Rizology cookie. Yeah, I'm sure she fucking is. Is she going <laughs> to keep it the same name when she goes to sell it afterwards? Probably not. Probably not. What the fuck's up with that, Brianna? Yeah, Bri. I was going to press you on that, and I decided not to. I was being a nice guy. He's being good. 
Anyway. Motherfucker. So I Sixth didn't... Sense Gym was great. By the All way. All blacked out walls. Hold on. Shut your I mouth. I want a cookie so shut bad now. Shut your mouth. I'm fucking hungry, bro. I'm so hungry. Shut up. Fuck. Stop reminding me. Do you have my foot? Did you just rip that off? I did. All right. Continue. We're a this, mess. This, this is what I get for talking. We're over. a go mess. Ahead. Go ahead. I'm over this. I'm just going to put this on while you... Just go. Go. Just Tell me. Six, six Sense. Six yes, Sense Gym. I can't say... I off? I can't keep saying this gym name because it's going to fuck me up. All black walls. Every piece in there. Arsenal. Pieces? Pieces. Uh, arsenal. Pe- no, but like pieces, pieces? Or there were a couple pieces, pieces but yeah. Arsenal pieces too. Yeah. All brand new Arsenal equipment in the black and gold color scheme. Oh, it's dope. Fresh Come turf area. They had a small rogue monster rack, like where they have the, the yeah, CrossFit yeah, 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 racks that, that you have shit, all yeah, that. Right. Dude, you can have like outside the squat rack type stuff. That's dope. All that set up. They had all the Kabuki bars. Love that. They had all the, um, t- the uh, prime fitness grips and everything like that. Beautiful weight stat. It was phenomenal. And then they, in the in the middle of it was a little kitchen. So if you were like wanted to make a shake or something like that or eat your food, mm-hmm. right there, phenomenal gym. Really cool. That's so, dope. Like open ju- concept shit. Yeah, open That's floor awesome. plan. That's so awesome. Juji and I go. Which he's training chest. I was training arms. I said if you need something, let me know. Whatever. And he's just chilling. And you know, it's just in between when I finished my workout, he was like taking his time with the, with his workout. In between, he'd like. He would just go to me. He's like talking to me, and we're just like shooting the shit and this and that. And then he actually spun his camera around. Like he was he was mixing his post workout cornflakes with his protein shake. Post workout. So he po- corn he poured flakes. the milk the protein shake into the into the, the cereal container. Yeah. And then with his camera, he starts crunching it up, and then he's eating it like this with uh, doing a selfie with the camera, eating it like this. And then he slides the camera across the table to me, and just instinctually, I just pick it up and start recording him. <laughs> it was just awesome. So it was just honestly just good vibes with him. And then the next day he asked me, he's like, yo, you want you have a beard? You want to go get a cut? I go, sure. That's fucking money. Why else am I gonna get a cut with Juji? I'm like, sure, I'll get a haircut with you. I don't think I have any cool stories like that in between. Do I have any cool stories like that? I embarrassed somebody on accident. Who huh. you embarrassed? Some girl I used to have sex with. That's good. Oh, yes, that's right. You told me about that. You told me yeah. about that. She came to the restaurant with a man. With a man. And she said some weird shit to me. I was like, whoa. Don't leave the table. <laughs> uh, no, uh, that was yeah. I, I felt bad because I, uh, I she didn't realize I was going to be there. Obviously, running the show, and then there I was. Oh, I got one thing for you. Ready? Thank you got you. something for me? What do you got? Juji's just. Wait, wait. Why is he so ripped? <laughs> Did you put a fucking lion over him? That's what, so funny. What else are you going to put? A, what else are you going to put over that? I, I don't really fucking know. There was no noise. There was no scream in there. So I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to no put. Noise. I'm not going to put it, an elk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although he probably would have liked yeah, it. He probably would have fucking made him fucking yeah. hysterical. So yeah, man, the trip was dope. That's awesome. Um, super appreciative of that opportunity. I loved it. And then I was going to potentially go to Dubai this week. Totally forgot. Passport is expired for the last two years. So here we are. Yeah, well. I'm okay with it. I'm yeah, going, you know, you I didn't tell you this. I'm going to uh, Rolling Loud on Saturday. Oh, oh, why was it good, man? I'm filming uh, uh, the burger joint. Oh, no good. The, yeah, they got nice. the. Uh, I've heard good things. I haven't been yet. They have the food truck. I haven't been. So I'm going to film them. I hit Bronson up, so we'll see if he hits me back. I said, I said, yo, I see that you're you're performing. If you need something, hit the kid up. So yeah, for sure. That's it, man. All right, cool. And Nunzi, uh, you got some cool shit going on. Yeah, dude. Dope, bro. Nunzi's on Sunday. Nice. You 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 should pop by for at least three seconds. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to. Just for three seconds. I can't. Just I am managing a bar. Crawl, just walk by and, and wait then I am me. serving at a restaurant, and then I am managing a nightclub. All right, may, I maybe no I'll time. maybe I'll just come by after I'm done with this. That would be then. cool. All right, I that. legitimately do not have a second that day. That is going to be a massive day for us. We have a lot of shit going on. It's okay. insane. Um, you know what's so funny, though? I actually had to... So because we... Ha- you know, we, we started becoming a little bit more professional in the office with attire. We were always very professional. But the attire has changed. You know, back to quarter zips, back to button downs and all this other shit. And I was actually looking... And, uh, I, like, footwear. I'm like, all right, I need some new footwear for the office. I didn't want dress shoes. I wanted shoes. That could be business casual. Business cash. Business cash. What's up with Chelsea boots? What is a Chelsea boot? Do you know what a Chelsea boot is? It's like that so quarter cut, right? Got, it no, says, it's, it's, it's a high top boot, but like like a dress shoe hybrid. And it's got no it's got, it's no, got laces no laces on it. Yeah, it's I, a I, I have a slip-on boot. I have a pair. You have a you have a pair of something like that? Yeah. Okay. Not suede, How? leather. Okay. How? I feel like short guys don't belong in these. We don't. We don't, right? No. Like, especially short, stocky Well, I'll guys. tell you what. If you're short and you have a small foot, yeah, well, it's going to look really awkward on you. You're going to look like you have baby boots on. Baby boots, right? <laughs> so I try to pair on at the mall, and I go, damn, 
I look at the salesman, and he just looks at me, and we have like this common thing, like, damn, those ain't for you, bro. You both, you both just figured it out. Do you have I looked them? Of me with them on? Yeah. No, I wasn't going to embarrass myself like that. You I wouldn't, wouldn't do fucking, that for me? I wouldn't look fucking stupid. You didn't send me a picture? I looked stupid. No, I couldn't. It was so dumb. It was like the time I sent you a picture of me with no beard. Well, how about the time Remember I sent you a picture of me with the handlebars? Oh. <laughs> 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 no, but me with no beard is exactly what that looked like. Just just shitty. You like, with no beard was interesting. Hard to look at. Hard it was interesting. I, but I... It's not that I'm ugly without a beard. No, it's, it's just that I'm so much more better looking with one. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the verdict on my beard? We growing this out still? Yeah, you got to grow it out. I, you inspired me to keep it growing too. I think. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Are you gonna I use have the beard, beard products oil. I told I have you a about? Beard oil. I'm not trying any. I, I have no money to spend on that. I have no money. I'm, this all being spent in Miami. I have no money. This you use it points. I am using points. So but getting, I'm using so, all the points. All two hundred thousand? Yes. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand points is only like two thousand dollars. If that. <laughs> Maybe. If that. The exchange yeah. rate's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, especially when you go down to Miami. Yeah. I, what are well, you saying? Uh, oh, you don't know yet? With him? Or <laughs> no, I have no idea. You guys are booking a hotel together? I, I haven't booked anything yet. All, all I did was book the flight. Didn't book a BB yet. Planning on staying in an, an Airbnb, though. Okay. Which should be interesting. That should I be wanna, fun. I want to get a pad. You know what I mean? A pad. Something fat. Like the New Orleans house? No. <laughs> So for those that didn't hear about the New Orleans house, that was a one point something billion, million dollar house that I wouldn't pay two hundred thousand Amex points for. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that place was <laughs> shitty. Um, oh. Also, since this episode will air, love those fucking guys. Congrats to Butter. Butter on, on, the, on the on, on the, the wedding. wedding, of course. Karen, shout out to yeah, th- you stealing my thunder. Shout right, out sorry, to go, Karen. Go, go go go. Shout out to Karen. Keep up the fucking posts, bro. Those posts are money. Him hitting the punching bag? I hated it. But I loved it. But I loved it. You want some beignets? You want some beignets, Tyler? <laughs> so we, we were, well, a little bit about our New Orleans trip. Uh, when we the were, good parts. Yeah, the good parts. When we were down there, uh, Nick's cousin's friend is named Karen. He had me cracking up. He's just antics. He's a, such a good fucking dude. Such a good fucking amazing dude. Dad. His ant, his amazing dad. His antics are hysterical. We went to... It was me, him... And um, what's his name? Um, short Silly? Bald. No, short bald. Uh, um, damn, he's got a daughter. Fuck, I can't remember his well, name. Well, Rob. No, not Rob. No, he's got a daughter. One kid. Oh, you were hanging out. With, is that the dude that you at before dinner? You go, you yes, two together? Yes, correct. Oh God. Well, anyway, it, we it were all hanging. Me. I'm slipping my mind. I'm so sorry. We were, we went we went to uh, have breakfast at uh, it was a Cafe du Monde. Cafe du Monde. Cafe du Monde. And Which please let the people know that beignets are fucking oh a ripoff God. of Zeppelin. They're, f- they're fuck. The French are fucking ripoffs. What a bunch of assholes. Assholes. <sighs> That's why everybody hates you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's why everybody thinks you're pussies. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but he's not. No, but he's not. Anyway, um, so we went to Cafe Du Monde, and Karen, because I don't know, just his accent and the way he speaks, and he's very fl- he's flamboyant. He just goes. You, Tyler, you want some beignets? You want Did some beignets? Because I was having like like a, like a breakfast sandwich or something like, like eggs or something. He goes, Tyler, you gotta have some beignets. You gotta try the beignets. <laughs> and I, I'm like, I'm not with Nick. I am out by myself with these two who I've spent three days on a drunk bender with. Lori. Yeah, Lori. Gotcha. Thank Sorry. You. Gotcha. On a drunk bender with these fucking guys. <laughs> and they just, just asked like, if he wants some beignets and I, in that accent. I'm sitting there stressed little... out trying to get a flight back home, and I'm like. This guy really won't shut the fuck up about, about the these beignets. beignets. He's like, these beignets are fantastic. They're fantastic, Tyler. You gotta yeah. have the beignets. Some beignets? You want some beignets? And New then, Orleans is an interesting place, man. New Orleans was an interesting place. I like the last spot that we were at before you left. That place, that's... Yeah, I know. I wish I would've went. With the pieces that we that we started talking to for mm, three seconds? I know. Dude, the, the, what the, come the back. flamingo shit. The, the flamingo place that was right around the block. That place? No, no, no. When we were walking back to get you your Uber to the to the airport, remember the the pieces that we saw? Oh, that told us just that like come back for I know they whatever me festival to come back or for something. November. Damn, damn, should have booked a flight to New Orleans in November. Definitely not going. I want to see the Dominicans instead. <laughs> I got a thing for Spanish women, man. I'll tell you something. You, but another another thing too, by the way, I have a strong strong attraction to chicks with red hair now. Really? Dyed natural. Doesn't matter. Red hair has me nuts at the moment. When did this happen? I don't know. Just woke up one day and just red hair was just doing like, it for oh you. I, dude, I look at chicks with red hair. I'm like, oh my god, you're fantastic. Where have you been? Wow, yeah, that's a very big change. Huge. 
Well, I think it all stemmed because of that one little thing I had going on. I think that's where the, the seed got planted, and now mm. all of a sudden it's coming to fruition. It's blossoming. I'm and quite I'm the like, opposite. I just hate all chicks now. <laughs> well, I hate all chicks, too. I almost got catfished. Okay, well, okay, so let well, me speak about that real quick. Yeah, please. Okay, because I need to... I almost got catfished on one of these fucking okay, sites. Okay, so I need and, to and set... And I delete it afterwards. I need to set the record straight. Oh, it happened again to you. Okay, so... Oh, man, because I know it, it's very strange to me, Just and and it it's strange to everybody. Uh-huh. So... Since 2014, we, we, we broached the subject as a joke, <laughs> laughing, and people don't believe yeah, me. I like, know. they think I'm making this shit up. I know. But, like, it was flattering in 2014 when I was found on all the dating apps with a different name. Frank. Frank, okay? It was flattering for a second, but very weird. Like, okay, so you're using my photos to catfish women. Right. And guys. And that's guys. That's where that kid, and guys. that kid thought I was gay, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not. And he's right. like, that's what they all say. I'm like, no, they don't. That's not what they all say. I've got a lot of gay like, friends. I, 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 I've never felt uh, a way towards a man, but I, I like women. Yeah. So, no, I'm not like that. So, sorry. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. But um, I know it's been going on, mm-hmm. on and off, um, because I get messages from random women on Facebook saying, Hey, is this you? Is this you? Like, Frank, why is your name Nick? Or this and that. And it, it's always troubled me. It's starting and, to piss you off, isn't it? Oh, dude. Like, <laughs> no, I don't think you understand. Like, I was, I was really mad last night. Like, really mad last night. So oh, last night, there was a girl that messaged me. I know through Facebook. She messaged me saying, I matched with this guy who I thought was you, and it wasn't you. And it was this other guy named Frank, and I thought I knew you. And, I, you know, I, I figured out that it was not you. And I go... Yeah, not me. I said, I said, was his name Frank? I, she didn't say it was Frank. I said, was his name Frank? She goes, yeah. So, okay, I got heated for a second. Yeah. And I'll tell you exactly what really fucking heated me about it. What heated me about it was the fact that she showed me the pictures that he sent her. And the pictures he sent her were new pictures of me with my beard. So it's uh, somebody so that's following me on, a, on Instagram that is screenshotting any selfie that I put up and using this on, on sites. Okay. Can I let, make a suggestion? I want you to make a suggestion, but let me just do this. That's fucking weird. That's odd shit. Bro. It's it's who is putting this much effort in? Like, are you really meeting these girls? What are you accomplishing? I, yeah, are they weird. sending you nudes, and that's what your big ploy is to have, get them to send you nudes? Dude, he sent her. He sent her a fucking cock shot, like through the pants, through the underwear. Impressive. It was a good cock. I'm not. Gonna ah, lie. It was a good cock. I'm not. Gonna, Frank, I'm not gonna sit Frank, here and pretend. Frank, you got but, a nice cock, but you're a weirdo. But. Definitely not him, because mm-hmm. if he's using my pictures, you would think he'd put his own shit on the internet? Fuck yeah, no. definitely not. Fuck no. I yeah, don't, Frank's not even his fucking name. Right. So, <clears throat> so I'll tell you, I got, I got really heated last night because that's my image. Yeah. So girls, I could go out somewhere, and they'll think that I'm the guy just yeah, acting like a scumbag on these fucking, I don't send cock shots. It ain't me, kid. I don't do it. Listen, I'm doing okay down there. I'm still not going to send some shit. Yeah, it is weird. what it is. That's not me. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not that guy. That's weird. That's weird shit. So, so and I, I'm going to let you go say. Ahead. No, no, go ahead. But like, so now I'm like, re- so now that I know it's somebody that's following me on Instagram uh-huh. because they're getting updated shit, like that heated me because I'm I'm going on the record. If I ever find out who this is, fucking him up. You are getting so fucked up. <laughs> it is going to be insane. It's going to be great. I will take the jail time. Yo, so here's my suggestion to the ladies out there. If you know Nick and you come across Frank, let's play a little game. Oh, Barrow, let's play a game. Oh, Barrow already suggested it. Let's yeah. play a game. Oh, we're gonna find him. Let's find him. Yeah, we're gonna find let's him. Let's meet up with him. Yep. That's and then we- and then let me, Nick, Barra, and you know Jim, you know Jamal's Jamal in. Will be there. You know Jamal's in. Fab will come in. Fab will come with that. And someone I beer. fucking hate right now is gonna come. Oh yeah. And he's gonna get. And here's why. The fuck's up, Dre? <laughs> the fuck is up, Dre? Yo, I, I see what you did to the kid in the parking lot. I'm still not fucking afraid of you, but I kind of. But where's, <laughs> but where's my pieces? But I kind of am. But where's my pieces? <laughs> you talking all this stuff like, oh yeah, we'll go away. Ha ha ha. Tyler's so funny, motherfucker. I'm being serious. Where's my shit? <laughs> yeah. He's walking around with all this fucking, you know, good looks, chiseled. Where the fuck's my piece at, man? You, you're gonna tell me you don't have in all these attractive women that you attract. Some fucking six friend that I you can't sling my way. Nah, man. Someone that's just 
into short Italian dudes. Dre needs all the pieces. He doesn't need them all. He He's needs being all the ma- why is he being greedy? Being greedy. He's greedy with a lot of shit. He's being greedy with the pi- with the pieces. Why are you always competing, Dre? Being mad <laughs> greedy. <laughs> Just win, winning every show. Damn, why you want to show up and do your job, Dre? <laughs> put, put, fuck. Food, put food in your daughter's mouth, you know? Damn, Whatever. Brooklyn didn't need that Florida trip, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. No, he's a good dude. I fuck with Dre. So, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> I had to get that out. I'm sorry. No, I appreciate you. Back to that. Uh, yeah. We, we, yeah, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, I, it's weird I, shit. I may have to make a fake account and, and I, hunt this person down. Wait, can you make a fake account of me? Because I'm starting to get weirded out by, like, why am I not getting one? Like, I'm feeling kind of jealous. Don't be jealous. <laughs> it's like, am I Don't not be good jealous. looking enough for a fake one? Don't be jealous. No, I'm tell- I, I, it, I am not on these fucking apps again. I know I'm, I'm on, on it right I'm, now. I'm on and off. I'm on and off. I'm on, on Hinge right now. I am so... And, oh, I cannot wait. At the end of the year, I'm changing my phone number, too. Yep. Mm-hmm. We are We are kissing everybody goodbye. And I am not, I, I honestly might give it out to like five people. I think that's the move. I might give it out to five people. Something more entertaining than me? Uh, it's for a potential job in the city, uh, okay. a, a DP job. You don't need no more money. I do need more money because the dog <laughs> eats way, way too much fucking food. Yo, he's, he's sleeping, bro. Don't even talk. I know. Him. Well, he wrestled with that dog finally. He's out like a light. I know because he wrestled. That's why. He, he was having a good time with the dogs before. But now he's filthy, and that's what Karen will say when I get home. 100%. Yo, he's filthy. Tell him to get yeah, a bath. And I'll be like, oh, my God, man. okay. Anyway, so, yeah, so. So, what do you, so so tell me about some things you got coming up, man. I got a few things coming up I'll talk about. I so talked about you, everything I got coming up, coming up man. Yeah, I'm just, did. I got I got all that stuff coming Damn, up. I got, you're not going to ask me what I got coming up? What the fuck? I want to I wanna take some more trips. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I want to take, <laughs> I wanna take some more trips. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to. Go uh, get your passport redone. Yeah. Well, I, I, I domestic travel. I'm not really. International, I'm not fucking with right now. No, nah, me neither. Unless it's a job, I, I have no intense, I have no interest in leaving the country. The only time I'm going to leave the country is if I go down to Miami and or one of DR. these Dominican tricks wants to bring me back to the home, the motherland, and I'll say, "Huh, oh, let's go." We how have, do, we have how, fresh con leche and palantanos back home. Palantanos. I don't fucking Platano. Platano. By the way, you got to listen to the Suave remix after this is over. The dude just goes, Platano, Platano, Platano. No, I can't listen to those songs that they just chant. Hysterical. No, I can't do it. You tried to get me on 4K and I hated it. He goes, Maduro. (laughs) In the background, it's the most hysterical shit I've ever heard. I can't wait because we're going to go down to Wynwood and hit all these fucking crazy Latin spots. I'm so, this is, I'm going to be in my prime. I'm going to be glowing down there. You have no idea. I'm I'm so excited. I'm I'm ready to see these stories. Oh my God, it's gonna be a blast! Well, you gotta do because you're gonna protect your image. You gotta put it, me on your close friends list and just yes. share it on that. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna make a close friends list of you, my mom, Kenji, Kenji's account, <laughs> Kenji's account's gonna yeah, be on so there. So the Kenji can see it. My mom's just gonna be like, "Why you got mad Latin chicks, mad thick on your Instagram?" But like, chill out, mom. <laughs> chill out, Bob. It's not it's, that serious. It's but like, da- it's for dad. Show him. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, man, I'm excited. I've never been down there. Um, I'll, t- I'll tell you what I want to do. Go ahead, talk to me. We have questions that we never answered from Brajol Brothers. Well, before we get into that, let me talk about some shit that I got coming up. I, I, a lot of people come on here and promote their shit. Let me promote mine for once. I actually have shit to promote. It's fucking crazy. Uh, we are doing on a t- uh, Halloween weekend. Wait, wait. I, I got to say it like this, though. Please. Yo, man. Plug. Plug my shit. Send my own check. Yeah. Yeah. Mag Mara, send the, send the marketing check. Yeah, send the marketing check, Mike. Um, actually, I'm going to be on the radio on, th- on Thursday. Party 105.3 has me on the radio. On what Thursday. time? Uh, no fucking clue. Wow, okay. <laughs> Horrible plug so Shout far. Shout out to Johnny Laz over at Party 105. He's he's actually uh, live right now. We were supposed to have this call today, and uh, I rescheduled on him. And he also rescheduled on me, too, so it worked out. Okay, good. Um, So coming up this weekend on October 29th, the 30th, and the 31st from 1130 to 2, come down to Main Street in Farmingdale. We are having the Witchcraft Pop-Up After Hours Live DJ, drinks, dancing, good vibes. This Thursday? More, yes. No, so we're starting Friday. I'm on the radio Thursday. Okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. After party, 1130 to 2. Um, d- dinner, yeah, we're, we're past the dinner, so it's DJ, drinks, dancing, good vibes, small, intimate crowd. Pieces? M- pieces. Okay, so I'm going to come. I'm going to come through. We're going to have a, a more mature crowd, um, so be, be prepared for more mature crowd there. We do have... The Hoke, uh, not Hocus Pocus, um, the Halloween bar crawl, the Creepy Crawlers bar crawl, uniquebarcrawls.com for tickets. Uh, we are live from 1 to 6 on Main Street in Farmingdale, after party at the Nutty Irishman. So be there. Live DJs there going on as well. Um, Christmas Club is coming up. Get your tickets early. I know it's going to sound fucking crazy, 
But the day they release, please buy your tickets. Do not ask me when I am packed. Literally cannot squeeze Yo, another fucking comp? table in. You got a comp, though? Yeah, I don't have any more tables. Bro, we did so many fucking tickets. Our wait list for Halloween is 3,000 people. It's fucking insane. It's a great thing. It's great, a, it's great, a great prob- problem Great to problem to have. to have. So buy your tickets early. Um, other shit that I got coming up, man, just I, I'm living life, man. I'm really enjoying the way that my life is going. I'm fucking excited for the future for for the first time in a while. Um, and this is probably the only time I haven't felt lonely in a long time. I got a lot of fucking good people around me. I got a lot of really good things coming up. Um, and you missed out on buying low on my stock, ladies. I'm being very picky now. And I'm still single, believe it or not. It's fucking crazy. And I'm still single. And guess what? It's going to remain that way. I ain't jumping into shit. Dude, I talked to... I got hard nipples right now. That's because you're getting so excited about your future. I am. I'm fucking excited. (laughs) Somebody milked this guy. (laughs) Whoa! Whoa. Anyway. No, but seriously, someone's going to come in. Anyway. (laughs) Um, yeah, we got some cool shit going on, man. Dude, I gotta tell you, man. I uh, I feel like I didn't tell you this because we don't talk anymore. We but do, but we don't. we do, but we don't. You sent me. Would you send me a dodo before? Yeah, I sent him a dodo bird. I said dodo, and then that was it. You didn't yeah, I never. Yeah, I had a million phone That's calls. That's okay. Back and that was it. Um, so <laughs> spending time with Jackson. Oh no. And spending time with my boy Julio and his son. Okay. Nick has come to the realization that... Kids ain't for you, bro. <laughs> tell me, kids ain't for you, bro? You ain't having no fucking kids? I gotta it's, tell you something, bro. Okay, no, no, it's not that... Wait, 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 let me pause, let me pause. I can piggyback on this. Let me ahead, pause, because please. it's not that I don't want kids. <laughs> I just realized... You don't want his kids? <laughs> I just realized that it, it is so important that that teamwork is there. Otherwise, these kids just bounce off the... Fucking they bully wall. the fuck out of you. Oh my bro, god, bro! I, we have Jackson, we run a family dude. friendly restaurant. It's can, fucking can, tough. Can These I, kids are so fucking bad. How do the kids get more on the floor than they get in their fucking mouth? It's insane. I'm sweeping dude, constantly. It's insane. Can we just talk about like when I go to uh, like, when I go to Barra's house? My blood pressure's to the roof right now. Oh my god! When uh. I go to Barra's house, <laughs> or I talk to him on the phone, I gotta call him after this. And the baby is just screaming. <laughs> At the top of her lungs, <laughs> but like twenty four seven, she I'm just she I doesn't she doesn't stop crying. She, I don't like it, but I love it. No matter how much she shits, no matter how much <laughs> she eats formula they put down her throat, <laughs> she is just screaming. And I'm not even joking. I get off the phone with him, I hang up, and I just go like this. I go, oh. I take a deep breath and I listen to my house. War flashbacks, and it is just. <laughs> Pin drop silent. Uh, yeah. Kenji's just standing there looking at me. He is quieter than anybody. He's just sitting there staring at me, and I'm like, I'm breathing. And I look at him and I just go, Man, do we want to give this up? Because this is crazy. <laughs> this is awesome. Bro. And then my boy Julio's kid. Adorable. Love him. He was fucking awesome, but for five hours. Because if I had to do. <laughs> because if I, if I had to do it more, I might just. <laughs> Bite a bullet. Yeah. Yo, know, just like, hey, are you watching me? Are you watching me play? Like, yo, take a look at what I'm watching. Like, I'm like, yo, I, and I love him. He's so cute. But it's like 11 o'clock at night. I <laughs> shot all afternoon. I'm so tired. And he's like, hey, you want to play with my action figures? I'm like, I do, buddy. But I'm like, I'm here because your dad promised me dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't made me shit yet. He hasn't made it yet. I'm ready to go home. He was cooking all day. And me and Chris Woods, yeah. my boy Chris, shout out to Chris and Julio. My boy Chris is becoming a priest. Oh man! So he came the in his he came in his friar and his monk like outfit. Oh wow! So we went to the grocery store to go pick up the food for dinner. It's like ten o'clock at night. Who was like, "What kind of tacos do you want?" I'm like, "Bro, I don't care. I gotta be up tomorrow morning to golf. Please just cook us anything. You feed me, dude. We, <laughs> everyone, everyone and he's was fire with the with the food. Fire huh? with the food. Fire. Damn son. So then, so then his son just wanted to play with me, and then. I'm watching. We're, we, I put fail videos on the TV. Oh Jesus! And I'm just watching how kids are just. Extra, <laughs> as I spit everywhere. Extra, like they everything that's on the TV. Whoa, like they're they're just. It's the most amazing thing they've ever seen. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, oh, oh my god, how do people deal with this 24 seven? Oh my god. So it's not that okay. It's not that kids aren't for me because watch, I'm gonna have a kid now. But okay, there's a. It's a lot. It, it's a lot of work, bro. I knew it was. Yeah. This made me even more aware, and I'm kind of just like, I mean, listen, if I don't shack up with a girl and I don't get married, 
it's really not going to be the end of the world. I'll be the cool uncle to all these kids yeah. with a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Uncle Nick came over with his fucking Lambo. Damn, and why don't Japanese they come up with a, with a Lam- with a Lambo and Keenge's son? Yeah, just hanging out in the yeah. fucking cockpit. Crazy. Why didn't you bring Keenge? Well, he's too fucking big. Yeah, his I son's a little bring, smaller. I had to bring the puppy. Yeah, I had to bring the puppy. <laughs> Are you mad? Speaking of that, I showed you the, the female yes, he's breeding to. That's insane, bro. So if all the health testing goes well. I'll tell you something. I've been looking at fucking shelter dogs, just hound pit mixes. They're so fucking cute. I need a dog immediately. Well, when you get a new place. I eventually. Know. Eventually. It's eventually. coming. Don't it's rush coming. it. No, I'm not. But dude, oh, I, I do by, the time, by the time you're ready for a dog, I might be, yeah, you, might get might be Ken, you might get Ken, <laughs> Kenji's daughter or something. How cool would that be? That'd be fucking fire. That'd be cool. That'd be fire. I think that would be awesome if you got Kenji's daughter and I yeah. had the son and like with the family's like right here. That'd be fucking gangster. That would be cool. That'd be gangster. Um, so yeah, it's not that kids aren't for me. <laughs> I just realized that um, you really do have to give up your lifestyle that you're used to. Yeah. Fully. Seeing that. Dude, it's, it's crazy. Shit you can't do afterwards. Dude, the silence, the ability to just, like... I hear it every day from the guys at work. Do whatever you want. And they, like, don't get, they always say, don't get married, don't have kids. Every, but they, it, but they're it, kidding. They love their are? wives and they love their kids. Of course, but no, like at do. some way, uh, some of the guys yeah, are yeah, serious. Because, you know, when you get stressed out, everybody says it. Yeah. Um, but, so, yeah, it's just... It made it more apparent to me that I'm like... Yeah. Wow, Nick really isn't in a rush. Like I'm, yeah. I am so okay with being thirty and single, and yeah. n- I am in no immediate oh. need to get married. Oh, trust me, I have no immediate need to do anything. I'm actually thinking about throwing a birthday party for myself. That's really? like the high. I was about to ask you, are we doing anything? In November tenth. I don't know. Anything? It's a Sunday, I think. I'm not really too sure. Yeah, November tenth. Anything? So not all really. you fuckers, mark your calendars. Yeah, ladies. Do you want? Do you want to do it for Saturday then? I have no idea. Let me tell. Let me say. Oh no, it's a Wednesday. Where the fuck did I get Sunday from? That's awkward. Yeah, I don't know. We'll probably do you want to go out on Wednesday? It, do people go out on Wednesdays I pe- anymore? I heard all the pieces go out on Wednesdays. Yeah, is that is that the truth? Yeah, I have no idea. The tools. We'll uh, I know it says the pieces. Yeah, we'll do we'll do something. Um, so you said we had more questions we never answered. We had questions that we never answered. So let's I, get to them. I think that's uh, let's get to them. All right, if you had to pick one song to hype you up for a PR, what would it be? Mm, one song to hype me up for a PR. I'm going to go with Hello by Adele. Hello. It's is it me. me you're looking for? That is not how the song goes. No, I've been listening to a lot of fucking Brooklyn Dream. Oh, I'm music. thinking of the, I can see it in your yeah, eyes. Yeah, that's not I Hello the, no, by Adele. No, it's not the one. No, Hello, it's me. I don't know the rest. Um, <laughs> No. Yo, Adele lost a lot of weight. She's yeah, she looking, did. Yo, she's looking fun. She's looking kind of peasy. She's peasy. She's peasy. Um, no, I would say a lot of Brooklyn drill. Depends on what my, you know, where I'm at. I've been listening to this dude K Flock. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Just mad aggressive though. All right. I'm not gonna, you know, his kids will listen to this. I'm any, I'm any, <laughs> you know me. I'm any metal me. song. Yeah. Tremonti. I'm, I'm fucking with Tremonti lately. I haven't been to the gym in a month, so I really. That's right. We'll get you back. I got. I'm getting back. We'll get you back. I'm By the way, back. Bev's replaced all of the lighting. Oh, the lighting switch it's now, too? It's bright as fuck. Damn, now I really got to get in shape. Bro, it's bright as fuck, and then they're switching all the equipment. All the Stairmasters are in the front row of the cardio now, because mm. they're adding more pieces to the back. Pieces? Pieces. Oh. It's crazy. Yeah, so anything metal for me, man. D- uh, Dylan and I have been sharing headphones when we work out I at night. I love that kid. D. Quinn, bro. He's a homie. I, love, I miss him. Love him. I need a hug from him, too. Um, so... <laughs> Big Daddy Ayala asked this back in the fucking Dizzy. This is back in <laughs> May 14th. Okay. Mm-hmm. Staying friends with exes. Ready? Nope. One, oh, damn. You, Sorry. Go one, two, three. I, I, no, I, I we're can't. We're both going to do it. I tried no, it. No, I can't. No, I tried I was, it. I can't do it. I can't I do it. it. No, I, I don't it. want any affiliation with somebody that I used to be romantically intimate with. No. I have no interest in it. I don't want to know Romantically anything. intimate. Now, there's a difference between people that you've had sex with and staying friends okay, with Okay, no, them. I can stay friends with them. No, no, because no. I, I, I mean girlfriends. <laughs> I was going to say, because I actually had friendly encounters with two of them recently, and it wasn't weird at all. Like I'm like no, I'm a good fucking funny. person. They know I'm a good fucking person. So it's like, I, I don't have, I didn't really didn't have an issue with them either. I just wasn't gonna work. So I stayed friendly with them. I wouldn't care. Like I, the one one girl I saw was with some dude that she's I don't know if she's dating him or was on a date with. But I was cool. I was gonna say hello. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Like yeah. I'm saying hello. Like it's really like, I mean. I, I wouldn't feel a way about it. Like, what am I going to do? We're fucking humans. Yeah. But I'm not going to be friends no, with No, girlfriends my ex. of mine I have no interest in. I can't. I can't. I don't want to see what you're doing. I don't care. It's not even what she's, she or he, whatever the fuck is doing. I can't get that person far enough away from me. Yes. I can't. Can't do it. Next question. I agree. He knew my answer to that, by the way, that motherfucker. 
He just wanted me to say it. He's, he's a piece of shit. He's an interesting character. He's one to fucking get you, right? Yeah. He likes he likes digging under your skin. Uh, he likes to send me are you up texts at like three in the morning. <laughs> He he's fucking strange, and sometimes I'm just sitting there like, Alex, are you fucking serious, bro? Go do this to somebody yeah, else. Go, do, yeah, no, go he, to a girl. <laughs> go do yeah, this yeah. to a girl. I'm like, don't see if she's actually he's up. He's always hanging around with PC chicks anyway. Yeah, like, don't you got like 900 PC chicks you're friends with? Like, go text them. No, I love him. He's a good. He's a, he actually is a good dude. Oh. <laughs> this isn't a question. It's just uh, Aaron going. Uh, I need more terrible date stories, and he puts in quotations. Take the food home to your family. That chick that I I went out with. Yeah. Remember? Oh, I said, yeah. Pack the leftovers up. Take it home to your family, yeah. please. Like, like, let's get that. Let's get this dinner over with. So I'm trying to think. Uh, okay. So my almost getting catfished happened. Um, That's what you so, were going to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here it perfectly plays into this. Thank you for bringing it back up, Aaron. Um, I almost got catfished by this chick on um, Tinder. I realized one, she didn't have a verified profile. Two, she was texting me from Green Bubbles. I'm like, something's up here. So I texted her. I'm like, I'm like, I've, 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 I'm like, hey, listen, I've been catfished before. I'm trying to make sure I'm not catfished. She goes, LOL, fuck you, and then never answered me again. So I was like, definitely getting catfished. Um, but I, uh, Aaron, to be honest with you, man, I don't go on dates. Women don't find me attractive. <laughs> You're um, an idiot. I hate, I'm just kidding. I hate you so much. <laughs> no, uh, I don't go on dates because I don't try, man. I got so much other shit going. Honestly, on. I, really I forget that. I, I forget to fuck. respond to these girls. I, I just go on dates right now. Yeah. Um, yo, because no one's simple. If someone was simple and realized that I'm working, well, now I'm working literally. I don't know what it works out to be, but I'm working 115 hours a week. If if there was a woman out there that realized <laughs> that like I'm working a lot right now and was just open to just talking and hanging out when I can, I'm um, I'm game. But like for right now, like I'm good. I'm sorry, I'm recording. Hi, I'm, I'm recording the Keenj with Tyler. Hi. Mid mid podcast, he's got to give him some love. <laughs> um, no, that's why I don't. I really don't go on dates, and I really don't try. A lot of I, I, I get interest. Like I, I can tell girls are interested, but I just don't. I I'm really not into it right now. I honestly forget to respond to everybody and make yeah. plans because I'm too worried about what I got to do for my business and what I got to do to feed the dog <laughs> and shit like shit that. Going on, man. I'm just I'm just not like to sit there and. It's gonna sound selfish. It yeah. sounds selfish of us, but of to course. sit there and have to like actually put in a F- crazy right amount of effort. I just, I, I'm all my effort is in this mm-hmm. being peaceful, yeah, not stressed out, and the dog. That's my yeah. effort right now. And if I'll, you come in as a puzzle piece and you fit right in, that's great. That, but if, thank if, you. if, if there's no, analogy. if there's no, yeah, cohesiveness, which then I can't I, do it. Which is why I want a dog. Yeah, this is why I want a dog so bad because honestly, it just wants my attention. Which is good, dude. But like, it's a different kind of attention. Oh my god, it's the it's best not feeling like, in the world. I don't when have I come to. I don't have to. to I don't me. have to constantly please a dog. I just have to care for a dog. Yeah, you got to care and you know protect and shelter. A dog, Literally, what just easy. happened? Kenji's been sleeping the whole time. He yeah, woke up, he woke came up. over to me, wanted some love, went to you, yeah. wanted some love. Now, now he's now laying he's down again, sleeping again. That's it. This that's is, what, that's the kind of shit I need. Like I obviously I know a girl's just not gonna come up no, and she, yeah. blow you and just walk away and go sleep in the corner. Took a nap. Tyler, I feel like blowing you. Hold on. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> that's hysterical. Um, no, I uh, oh, shit. I'm just not into it right now. Yeah. Honestly, just really fucking genuinely not into it. All right, we're both into that. I feel that. Um, what else you got? I got Mike Mara. Mike Mara asked a question. Yep. Fuck that kid. <laughs> How important is sex in a relationship? For me, if the sex ain't great, the relationship fails. Hundred percent. Facts. I, that's, that's a big fact. You thousand be, percent right. Yeah. Because I'll tell you something. There's been girls that I've openly, recently, been over the top attracted to their personalities and I always thought to myself like yeah sex can be a secondary thing but like it really can't because nope. the sex was just wasn't good yeah it did something about it bothered me or whatever the case may be and it's just not good also Mike Mike's an interesting character he's like 95 I don't think he has sex anymore <laughs> sorry I had to I had to you old fucking bastard I can't stand you so the running the running joke at the restaurant by the way oh dude you're gonna love this this is money this is gold, comedic gold by the way it's been going on since last year when we started the, the witchcraft pop up our staff thinks we're gay you and Mike? more Mike than me but yes <laughs> think so they're like, well, Mike's always because Mike is. This very, is why you're not getting any dates. No, <laughs> no. Well, this is why Mike gets all the dates because when girls find out that he's straight, it's game over. It's the Mike jaw, is it's the Mike line. is Mike. Yeah, he's got a good job. Mike is a cool, calm, collective dude. He is maintained. Like his hair is always perfect. He's always got a, like a, a haircut and he's whatever. And 
and he's always wearing tight jeans, like super fucking tight. Yeah. Like he has no business wearing those jeans, bro. And girls think he's gay. We just found this out like four days, three days ago. That's great. Hysterical. What so now, his, the, what was his response to that? He's like, he's like, no, like, but I guess for the other reasons that you're saying, like, I appreciate the fact that you think I'm well maintained and like all that. He's like, and Damn, like, and that is good but style. Th- but thanks. No, but like, it was just funny, and it's, it was just funny that he's. That they thought he was, he was. Yeah. It was hysterical, um, but yeah, they thought we were both gay. And then was there was a couple of girls on the staff that thought we were gay for each other. I love that one bartender you had, man. She had the boyfriend though. Oh yeah, you remember the one I from know. last year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's well, still she's, with you guys. She's still around. <laughs> she's great. I, listen, my that deserves that deserves a yeah, round of applause. She's great. She's great. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know what what else was I saying? We were saying sex that? is important in a relationship. Yeah, sex is super important. Super important. Super important. Yeah, I've right. um. Super important. Have I had? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sex no. is super important. Bro. It's like you. Know, it, okay, so it's like those trial runs. So huh. for me, it's like we got to go from talking to making out yeah. to having sex to boyfriend and girlfriend. It's like that may sound conceited that but I need to have a, sex, there, but, but there's I, a level in between. But I'm not going to make you my girlfriend, and then we're not, not sexually unreal, compatible. It's not an unrealistic expectation. I'm not going to have sex, and then I'm also not pushing somebody to have sex with me before they're not comfortable either. Correct. But my whole thing is like. And then the next stage of that is you move in together before you get married. Trial run. Yeah, I gotta see if I can live with you. Exactly. It's very different there's, when you. There's, it's there's, very there's different levels. when you go back to your space and I go back to my space. Yeah, because I'm encompassed in my own fucking realm right now. <laughs> I've been alone for two years and I went through a fucking. The longer you dude. stay single, the harder it is to get into a relationship because you uh-huh. realize how good it is when you're just by yourself yeah, doing but things. You know what? There's shit that I miss. I mean, uh, there's things about relationships I miss, and that's okay. why I want to talk. Doing cute about. shit. <laughs> I could take fucking cute fall pics with the with the dog too. You could, yeah. Like, like. Do you know any photographers? No. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I was gonna say like just I take pick cool. Up, just take I could cute. pick up a dog up and like have him reach like for the apple. Like it'd be yeah. cute. Like, just take I don't cute need a girl just, to do that. Just take cute Kenji pictures. I can I can I can sit at like a cute cafe with a dog and have him pretend he's drinking t- like a matcha tea. You could. Or Would it be like a French that? cafe? Maybe. Yeah. I'm just asking. Maybe. I don't know. It have to be. Like Babylon Bean or something like that. Just go sit at Babylon Bean and enjoy some live music. Why don't we dog. just do that with the Kenji? You know many... Kenji's too big. No, he's not. Do you know how many girls he, he re... Do you know how many girls he reels in? It's crazy. I get that, but he's not my dog. I need my own dog. Remember when you put the picture up with Kenji on your Instagram and he went cr- everyone I loved it? nuts. That's what I'm saying. knew it wasn't my dog. Just borrow him. I can't borrow him. He's looking at me like, nah, you can't fucking borrow him. You can't borrow me. He's, he's like, looking at me. He's like, you don't have enough testosterone. You don't have enough me. duck heads in <laughs> your, your freezer. <laughs> All, All right. right, we got one more. Yeah, hit me. Importance of work-life balance, which you don't have right now. Um, well, which is why I'm so equipped to talk about it. So I, I could talk about it in two senses. So I could talk about it from a professional sense because I actually help candidates actually get a better work-life balance. And we were actually having this conversation in the office today. The true definition of work-life balance is not 40 hours a fucking week. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you want a job that's 40 hours a week, be prepared to be unsuccessful and be prepared to get comfortable with having the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. That's what 40 hours a week gets you. That's what it affords you. We live – geographically, we're in New York. 40 hours a week doesn't exist. Now, if you live in the Midwest somewhere in Bumblefuck, Idaho, or wherever the fuck, maybe it makes sense and you can live comfortably. Here, you can't. Sorry. And if I'm if you're if I'm breaking the news to you, you have bigger fucking issues than that. <laughs> okay. But we were talking about it at the office today. In, in in our sense, we have a really great work life balance, and I'm in the office 55 to 60 hours a week, just in the office. It doesn't feel like work. That is where work life balance is. When when you, when when what you're doing makes sense. And it doesn't feel like you're grinding. I'm grinding, but I don't feel like I am. It's not that it's effortless, but it feels effortless. It's natural. Now, the restaurant's a different story. Physically, I'm working over 110 to 115 hours a week. There is no time for balance right now. But I have agreed to that. And I know that's what I need to do when it comes to this time of the year. This is the time of year I can capitalize on bigger and better things and more. And because I want more, I'm willing to sacrifice that. For the general masses, work-life balance is very important. The thing I've realized most, without the gym, I am a wandering soul. Mm -hmm. 
and it's like when we took that break in June. Yeah, it's like it was tough, man. And it's even tougher than that because I actually my mom told me she's like, "You look skinny." I'm like, "I'm not skinny. Like I just my muscles are deflated right now. Like I'm not full. I'm not, you know, my muscles haven't been utilized in the way that they're used to. I'm doing marathons every day." Like, I'm on my feet for fucking, you know, do, back and forth in the restaurant. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm doing it Wednesday to Sunday. It's tough. Working in service is not easy. But work-life balance to me is important, very important. But there's times for it. Yep. And you got to look for your right definition of it. Yeah. I agree. Yep. I agree. Um, everything becomes a job, though. Everything. Uh, yeah, at times. No, even when you love something, even when you love it and it doesn't oh, feel oh, like work, things, it's still work. Because things get tough sometimes. Correct. But in the grand scheme of things, right, I, don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I, in my job, we have fallouts. And it, I feel like pulling my fucking hair out of my head. Or somebody, you could prep somebody and to do the best they fucking can do on a job that they're a perfect fit for, and they fall short because they just go in and they don't say the right things. Or they have a bad day, or they didn't prep as much as they were supposed to, or something. Like, things happen. People are moving targets, especially in my business. So, at times, it's like, oh, I want to rip my fucking hair out of my head. But you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Got to do what you got to do. I concur. Concur. I concur. Do you? Uh, yeah, man. When I first started doing the videos and photos, man, I had to shoot fucking it's every job. day. Every day. Every day. And then I editing, editing on top of that. I mean, mm-hmm. listen, this trip that I just took, it sounds like fun, and it, it is a lot, a lot of fun. Of work, bro. People don't understand how much work that is. No, no, you, you were I was me. up at 4 a.m. every day editing the footage from the ne- from the previous day. Yep. And then we'd be right to the next all day shooting. Yeah. All afternoon. And then I'm going to the gym because I have to get my shit in. Right. And I'm at the gym. And then at nighttime, I'm editing again, sorting footage, and I'm passing out by 11, 12 o'clock. And then I'm up at four again. It's what's important to you. Yeah. Right man. now, the gym's not important to me. I'm realizing how important it is. But right now, it's sacrifices. Yeah. It's my sacrifice. My two hours at the gym are my two extra hours of sleep so that I can perform at both of my jobs right now. Mm-hmm. It yeah. is what it is. After, listen, after the pop-ups are done, you Oh, yeah, go after back, the pop-ups, ups, I'm done, and then I'm, I'm, I'm recreating my schedule a little bit so I can... I'll, I can... Co- I'll coach you back to Bev's at some point. That's it. <laughs> I needed a change regardless. That's okay. Honest I did. Cool. I needed a change. Honestly, it's fucking cool. It's all right. It's cool for what it's it is. Right. I'm not giving, them a, not giving them a glowing recommendation. I'm just not. They're okay. They get the job done. I'm being honest. I, just, I know you. Uh, I'm just being honest. I'm just smiling at you. I know. Because I know the interactions. I just, I, it's okay there. It's it's not. It's I mean, not where Bevs. else would you go? Bev's. Okay. There you go. That's I all mean, I want to hear. That, that's it. That's all I want to hear. Dude, on that note. Yeah, it's been cool having me back in the room, man. It's I mean, been cool. We'll, we'll do this again. We have to. I mean, we you're a revolving co host, so. Yeah, we will do it again. We got to go through some of the topics. Yeah. I think we deleted that PDF. We did. Um, We probably did. We probably did. Who the fuck just followed we gotta, me? We gotta cut. We gotta. We gotta come up with a new one, and we gotta yeah. do some topics. We gotta. Well, do that's some all right. Shit. We'll, we'll get some. We'll get some fan interaction on this one. Yeah. Let's let's have. Uh, let's reopen the the floodgates. Let's for let the it questions. marinate. The fucking sausage yeah. brothers. Let's <laughs> let the meat marinate for a little while. <laughs> the Frajol brothers are back in town. The boys, boys are back in town. town. Boys are back in town. <laughs> Is that the reverb. <laughs> Okay, shut up. Key. <laughs> fucking dog alone. Yeah, no, let's, well, let's go get burgers. Oh, Whoa, you're fucking great. Man. I love you. All right, On Nick, that note, coming to see you, buddy. This is number six of Rizology. Five, six, six. I, I thought you weren't numbering them. I am. Yeah, fuck you. I am. Fuck it. It's number six. Thank you for tuning into this week's whatever episode. I kind of just like pumped a bunch out last two weeks. Fuck them. And that was it. But enjoy, man. I hope you guys had fun. Hit the old one. T Frusco. Hit the old one. Hit the old what? Hit the old outro. What was the old outro? We love y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. One second. One second. One second. Ready? Huh. <laughs> Come hold on. on. Hold on, Get man. Together. Chill the fuck out. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Rizology. This is episode six, joined by none other than my brash old brother, T. Frusco. What are you going to do? And on that note, we love y'all. But go fuck yourself. Peace. <laughs>